My name is Ted Seth Jacobs and I want to talk first on this video about the principles that are involved with the painting and drawing that I've evolved uh, over the years and I, I hope you'll find them very useful. Uh, these are the principles that I've evolved. I have uh, 22 of them. Uh, first one is uh, what I call universality of structure. That means everybody has the same structural uh, features. Then we have a unity and complexity. <clears throat> the body has to move as a unit. Everything has to function together. But there are so many uh, different structures, it's very complex. The third is very important, it's called continuity. That uh, all the vital forces in, inside the body have to flow without interruption. There are certain uh, shapes and forms, certain structures that facilitate continuity and others that block them, which we have to avoid. <clears throat> the other is uh, something I call perspective effects. It's how things would look if they were blocks, like squared off blocks, tilted in space. It helps you to understand the tilt of things in space. Uh, next one is uh, tapering. All body structures are to some degree tapered. That means they go from uh, wide at the sort of middle parts to narrower toward the ends. So they fit together. Uh, the next is non-parallelism. None of the two sides of organic uh, forms on the body are parallel. They're always uh, asymmetric. That means that uh, they're asymmetrical, which means that the wide places are never opposite each other on a form. They're always at angles. The eighth is that uh, forms on the body, with very rare exceptions, twist around the central axis. They, for example, the muscles twist around the bones. That allows for torsion or twisting movements. <coughs> also, uh, <coughs> all the forms of the body are nameless. They don't have names. They don't come with names attached to them. We invent the names. And that can be misleading, and that can make us tend to uh, artificially separate things. For example, the hand is not separated from the wrist. It's a hand-wrist section, which fits into the uh, lower arm. Uh, then we have the um, kind of mechanical or engineering principle of leverage. That means that the uh, forms of the body that have to move are uh, lighter as they move away from their point of attachment. They get thinner so that they're easier to lift. <clears throat> then uh, all the forms on the body seems to grow from a central seed outward. The form is not scooped out as if you took a scoop of ice cream or something. They're not hollowed out. They're full. They're burgeoning outward. And they're also packed uh, on top of a large underlying mass, next biggest and smaller, smaller, smaller. They're layered. Also, each form has a, a definite shape. Each form on the body is to some degree curved, but having a definite shape means that it has an ending. That means that we have a sequence of rounding, ending, rounding, ending for each uh, structure. 